This is the grow out rack. There is 12 20 gallon long tanks, six on top and six on the bottom, uh, with some homemade polycarbonate lids. Um, the stand is just a pretty simple stand, it's made out of two by fours. Um, dadoed the the joints and put triangles on top and on the bottom it's pretty simple it's just held together with um, two inch deck screws and uh, we have lighting on the top and on the bottom it's uh, just a cheap lighting say under the cabinet light Uh, you can pick it up from Walmart and just some uh, minimal subs it's uh, crushed oyster shells pick it up at a uh, farm supply store um, check out my other video for uh, aquarium lids made easy and if you want a uh, really quiet sponge filters I have another video um, sponge filters made easy so here is the grow out rack just got done stripping a female she had a couple of them she was a smaller female so you know every once in a while I'll glance at each of the females and this female had just kind of slipped by so she was holding for about two and a half weeks almost uh, almost was ready to just spit them in the tank so we'll get a look of what's actually going on in the tanks and what we have so this one we have some sunshines saffrons and albinos so if I have to I'll mix the tanks but with only species that I know that I can separate. Over here we have star sapphires that were born about 23, 24 days ago. Pretty small. Each one of the tanks has its own filtration and heater. Here we have some platinum dragons the newest group and what's crazy because a lot of people don't know that dragon bloods originated from the um, trying to fix this quick originated from the OBs so every once in a while you'll have OBs in the group see right there we have one there's three so far four So every once in a while in the group you'll have an OB. Hang on to them and see what they'll color out to. Here are some saffrons, some albinos still in this group. Uh, one, two, three, maybe four. Four albinos left. Not filming with the GoPro today. Uh, I'm trying out the S20. 
love the camera quality so far it's pretty neat new phone it's the OB dragons they were just born three days ago here's a combination tank this is uh, the bear OB and then I grade the females that's what the a plus female it's just a, a female that has a lot of color in it so I'll grade all my females and uh, that goes into the process of selling and um, the quality that they're going to reproduce and there's the mason eye in here and that's the blue fish with the, the bars on them pretty cool little show fish down here we have a bear and another A plus female so that's going to be a pretty nice uh, dragon blood it's looking like male there's no black bar well maybe there is a little bit on the top of the head that's one thing you look for to call out, which means uh, no longer have that fish. Um, something a lot of people will do with their dragon bloods because a lot of people don't want the, the black bar or any type of smudge on their dragon blood, so it, it'll take a little while to get that out. There are some red tops and saffrons pretty good looking saffrons in here pretty bright over here we have sunshines there's only a couple left over here those have been selling pretty fast this is a, a stud male he kind of stays to the back doesn't really like to be bothered there's some more red tops whole big group of those so if you're interested let me know uh, newer spawn for the fish room it's the golden harbors also known as yellow cap monkey bay they got three associated names so that's a quick little video of the grow out rack interested in fish just let me know you can email me or message me and then we'll set something up all right thanks again for watching this is your fish friend dustin later